Greetings, everybody. When we last uh, last saw Mario, he was in peril, and he still is, actually. Um, that being said, Peril Mario is apparently rather powerful with her bad shut-up. Um, you know, if we don't get hit by a first strike... Well, okay, good. I thought I had it for a second. Uh, oh, boy. Uh, you, please do this. I'm actually fairly surprised about how useful that attack has been since we started this. Uh, you know what? If I could, if I can kill some time, let's get Kambario in here. You know, tattle on an enemy, that sort of thing. And let's focus on our power a little bit too. Spike top is what they're called. Okay. Man, that. That, uh, plant really wants our attention. We cannot even see the spike top. Kiss me, Mario. Right, one of them is about to recover, so let's... Let's stop this madness. And, uh, you. you can probably handle the rest. There you go. Right. Still in peril, by the way. Ah, uh, not anymore. Okay. Uh, anyone else want some? Yep, there you are, sir. Cut! Okay. And that one's all set, too. Ooh, nice. I wonder if when I have to renew that spell... It's lasted for quite a while, and I don't even remember the last time I signed up for it, so I may have to renew the subscription at some point. Uh, anyway, let's see. Yeah, Cooper, I still like you being there. You can still be there. In fact, I believe, actually, isn't Cooper the, uh... Isn't this dude right here Cooper's, uh, hero? Do they now? Yes, it is in the way. Oh. <laughs> okay, you could actually make him keep jumping like that. That's kind of cute, actually. Right then, onward to adventure! <laughs> uh, Coop's just gonna shuffle behind me already. Oh, uh, we should probably check to see if he's dead or not. Ah, indeed. Suffice to say, I don't think we're dealing with a genius here. Let's see. Oh, right, there's still a... There's still a thing in here. Oh, also there's, um... In addition to the, um... Start piece, there's an upgrade block, but once again, we are forbidden from using it. Bam! Star piece! Uh, how many star pieces do we have right now? Six, okay. Right, we used a lot of them on a, um, on a badge, I believe, at the beginning of the chapter. But the Ice Badge, uh, Ice Spy Badge, is pretty useful. Spy. Spy. Spoo. Right then. Oh, uh, I think I remember this room. Oh, boy. Bo, that would be really nice if you could do this for me, please. There we are. Let's see if we can keep up with it, actually. Oh, alright, that wasn't too far. Also, if stuff like that keeps happening, we're going to have to deal with a cave-in at some point, and that's not good. Uh, Cooper, my man! If you will. Ooh, yes, free money. After a quick mini game of jump rope here. Yeah. Oh boy, 
Ooh, quite a few of you guys this time. Okay. No matter. It's time for a cut! Uh, a cut! A cut! There we go. Oh, and I think I just mistook, uh, one of these fire spinny things for one of them. So, we are still good. Who knew volcanoes were a quick way to get rich? Assuming you could survive the, uh, survive the perils, it's apparently a windfall of cash down here. Oh, sweet! Look at this! Oh, man! Oh, one more. One more to go, ladies and gentlemen. That can means I can be as reckless as I want as in, in the next battle as long as I don't die. Use up as much FP as I want. Use a bunch of star power as I want without using Star Storm because I'm only allowed one of those per chapter. But yeah, now we're cooking. I... Pardon the pun, I suppose. Man, lava flows are weird. They just make platforms that go forward and backward, and... Oh, hey, I think I remember this place. Uh, how are we doing with H? Okay, I think we're all set. Uh... I think it's time for cut! And once again, we find ourselves in extreme peril. But that don't matter because we have beaten the enemy and as a result have leveled up far enough to receive an upgrade! Uh, once again you are already complete and HP would make things a bit too easy, so let's go with FP again. Oh boy. You want some, mister? And all right, another enemy down for the count. Uh, anyone else want some? No. Good. Yes. Oh, hey, you're still alive. I would really like to know how you gather that information. Here's what Gubari has to say about this. Yeah, actually, it is good enough that we can see. I mean, I think the lava's a lighting source, and I suppose that's rather terrifying, but... Yeah, no kidding. I suppose better reckless than a coward, though. But yeah, this room is lit up by, uh, by lava, and there's smoke literally in the caves. If I were convinced Mario was concerned about breathing, then... This place would be sort of hell, wouldn't it? Uh, Cooper, once again, you're the most useful in our adventure, so you've got the floor. Also, we may want to run for our lives. Although, it would be kind of funny to see this in action. Bam! Ooh, you are not looking so hot, sir. Burned by lava and crushed and suffering from heights. This dude is willing to put up with a lot for treasure. You may not be the smartest person in the world, but I respect that. Oh, there's something in here. Oh, wow, you recover fast. Are you sure you don't want to join my party? You would be an excellent addition to our team. As long as you let me do the thinking, sir. Oh, hey, look at that. We're right on top of it. Nice. Eh, 
and some extra treasures to help us out in case we inevitably die. Ooh, hey, that's kind of that's sort of a nice detail. The uh, little thing continued down the hallway. I suppose so. Yes, indeed. Let's go deeper down this hellhole. Granted, I think we have to edit. We haven't found the Star Spirit yet, or the boss, I suppose, which would hold the Star Spirit. Huh. I'm not liking how my, uh... How my... Star Gauge is not completely full. But I think I've already killed all the enemies in here, so there's no real way of focusing right now. Um, how are we doing in time? I think we can progress. Oh, right, you again, sir. Code Red. I wonder exactly what Code Red means in this context. Code Red can mean a bunch of things, depending on what sort of situation you're in. Does Code Red refer to simply Mario, or does Code Red mean danger, or is Code Red more of a Mario is here to steal your possession, and he came all the way through this volcano with a Koopa behind him and an archaeologist? Very specific, that code. Uh, well, I suppose it's now or never. Uh, I think in this fight we're actually going to want to use Sushi. Just because her help is going to be rather valuable to us. And, well, we've upgraded our FP a fair bit, so we should be okay. Um, I've actually been afraid of this boss for quite a while, and during my original play, back when I was like, maybe I suppose 11 or 12, this dude I died a lot to, so... Um, I'm a little bit concerned right now. Bad guys have indeed come to steal your star spirit. Indeed. Okay. Uh, uh, one thing I should do right now is probably find out exactly what your stats are. It'll be sort of nice to plan ahead, all things considered. Uh, you can title both of them. Alright, let's try the lava big dude first. Yeah, plants surviving in lava. This is a strange world indeed. Nice. Ooh, not nice. That's a lot of damage. That is a lot of damage, okay. Uh, do you have anything to say about the buds? Eight HP, okay, these this is actually a bit more scary than I thought it would be. Um we should not waste any time and protect ourselves. This is a temporary shield, so to speak. We should be okay a bit more now. Ooh, alright, so I think we're gonna be all set for this particular round. Should give me enough time to prepare for my next attack. Oh man, that's sweet. <laughs> oh, I was actually curious to see how much damage that would do. Okay, so, sushi. Uh, let's plan this out. First of all, let's squirt the big guy here and see what he what sort of damage this does. Uh, six, okay, not bad. Ah. Okay, now I'm in danger. Uh Would Quake actually hit anything? Oh it would! No kidding. Well, Quake would get rid of all the little guys, so that'd be kind of helpful. Ah, oh, crap. I suppose I timed that a little bit too early. Uh, you. Well, actually, no. This seems like a good idea.
There we are. Folks, I think we're in for a long one. Fortunately, with all the shielding we have, we should be all set for a while. Uh, and if we're not going to be damaged while we're like this, I suppose it couldn't hurt to get in some points while we're, you know, in danger mode. Oh, for goodness sake, I will get the timing right. Somehow. There we are. Alrighty then. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, there we go. May as well avoid using too much uh, FP at once. Does one damage, okay. Uh, in that case, you focus. You may th uh, throw a few tricks of our, um, tricks from his sleeves, or however the phrase goes. So we want to be ready just in case. It looks like he's going to be defeated in the next turn anyway. Nice! Ooh, that's not good. Um... You focus. And for reasons you'll see in a little bit, I'm still going to keep up this water block. Because even if we add, are at our last amount of uh, battle here, I'd rather he stay protected at all times. In fact, you focus again, because I'm gonna need this. Okay. Uh, I believe now it's your time to shine. There we are. It's a nice animation, actually. I like that. Yeah, also there's a part two to this boss, and uh, he's on fire now, and I think a little bit stronger. So one thing we ought to do is stop this from happening. At the very least, I really don't want you shooting strong attacks at me. So if we could stop that by any means necessary, that'd be fantastic. Uh, uh, she can't use items, that's right. Okay, let's try, uh, let's try shooting water at him. Oh, right, I forgot about that. If you shoot fire at him when he's fire- I uh, mean, you shoot water at him when he's in fire mode, he'll actually get disabled for a little bit. Maybe this isn't as bad as I thought. Oh, hey! Yeah, I'm afraid that's why I didn't use cubes for this battle. You know what? He put in the effort to help us. Again, he's not smart, but I still- I can still appreciate that. Uh, let's double dip now. I think it's time to use some attacks. Uh, something strong. Perhaps Snow Ma uh, Snowmandol and Snowmandol? We'll see how much damage this actually does. They're fire enemies, so I'm thinking it does more damage than usual, but uh, I don't know. Yes, it does! Okay, nice! Let's do it again! Oh, okay, it only damages a lot- damages them a lot when they are on fire. Oh, that makes sense, I suppose. You know, if we keep squirting him, I wonder if he'll- No, okay, it won't keep him from- Woo, okay, uh... Let's double dip again, because I would love some FP right now. And some healing, and I don't want to waste my uh, star power, so let's do this. Also, we're getting a lot of money out of this volcano. And you.
Also, I suspect. Oh no, the uh, the water, uh, the damage down thing is still in effect. Nice. Okay. Uh, yeah, I think from now on we can pretty much just hit you until you die. Ooh, that's no good. Uh, let's just use this attack. We haven't used it at all, and I'm only allowed to use it once per chapter, so I may as well get that attack in. Starstorm, if you will! Defeat this monster! Thankfully, we don't have to kill the little ones, too. Not that it wouldn't be... No, not that it would be hard or anything, but it'd be an extra turn wasted. Nice. Now, if only we had gotten that extra star boost, uh, from, you know, the, the curse in there. That would have been sweet. Oh, hey, look at that. You know, I wonder what his reaction to this would have been if he had stayed around in this chamber for at least two more seconds. He probably would have said that this was the treasure, and then I'd have to fight him as a boss. It would probably end in about five seconds. Right, so Star Spirit number five. And with that, we have ended our chapter. Steaming Mount Lava Lava. Alright, your name is Miss Star. Mr. Mr.? Ooh, that's not good. Look at that. Right, rumbling in a volcano is not a good thing. Uh, we should probably get out of here, shouldn't we? So, we are still in danger. Uh, let's go. Hmm. I really wonder what Goomba the Mario has to say on this room. Yeah, that's, that's not good, is it? Actually, I don't need to switch anybody out. He'll do just fine, Gavario. Uh, well, there's a staircase here. We could just keep going and see where it is. Oh, I see reason to change, but I'm not going to say why yet. Starfish. Or unless you rescue the maiden, or defeat the boss, or some such nonsense. That horrible fiery monster. Yeah, I can imagine kids playing with fireworks in an active volcano. Yeah, yeah, I can see that as cause for alarm. Uh, nah, I think we're kind of screwed, lady. Whoa, Gambario! I didn't know you were into starfish. Man, those crazy kids.
Whoa, geez, that face. Do you still find that sexy, you Mario? Because that was a terrifying face. I wonder, is the lava actually climbing up? No, it's just sort of... Whoa! Geez, yes it is, okay. Yeah, time to go. Actually, I kind of want to see this happen. Like, if I stand here long enough, will it actually climb up? Nice. Now, I haven't saved recently, so I kind of don't want to see what happens if I stay here and don't go through the door. Or are you just going to sit like that, actually? Is that what you're going to do? Hmm. Well, I suppose if the lava wants to go to its own leisurely pace, we, pace, we can go with that own le leisurely pace, too. Okay, time to go. Oh, good Mario, no! Good Mario! Oh god, what have I done? Your final words! Yes, you've done it time and again. And I bet if you stayed here while the lava, uh, while the volcano blew up, you'd probably be fine. But uh, I guess we're leaving. Oh man, he got—that was a close call. His head almost exploded, or burned, or what have you. <laughs>